All right, so this is the crash course here, Jacob Gilliam Master Tech, on Nice Apollo's Universal Radio Receiver, and it's strictly for the sake of programming transmitters to the radio receiver. The current part number is a Flox 2RA, uh, Fox Trot Lima Oscar X Ray 2 Romeo Slash Alpha. The previous part number was a 318 November, 318N. And I've already popped the cover off, so you do have to expose the electronics uh, from this cover. Uh, and I usually do it with two thumbs. I press one retaining clip and I slide the thumb from my other finger under between the two pieces of plastic, and the cover just comes right off. Straightforward. I've removed the factory pigtail that does and does not sometimes come with it from the factory. It depends on how the wholesaler orders it from the manufacturer. So it may or may not have this harness RP wired into it. But it doesn't matter. We're, we're going to just cover pairing your transmitter to this radio receiver. It doesn't matter if you're talking about keychain or the visor remotes. Even the previous generation that was black and blue with a side-by-side -side button. It doesn't matter. It still behaves the same way. And I'm not even sure why they even re um, changed the part number on these radio receivers. I imagine some engineer can tell me. But anyway, <clears throat> it's this simple. You have to have a transmitter, and it doesn't matter which button on the transmitter you use to program. Okay? And these are commonly also referred to as clickers or remotes. But this is a transmitter. This is a radio receiver. And it's this straightforward. You momentarily press the yellow button on the radio receiver and the red light comes on. Press and hold down any button on the remote control until this red light goes out. Then you release the button on the remote control and press and hold it one more time. And the radio receiver flashes three times to confirm that it's received the programming. It's that simple. Uh, and you do that with... You just repeat that process with every transmitter, okay? Yes, technically, there are two different ways of pairing a transmitter to this radio receiver. I talked about the most common way. And some would argue there's a, there's a third method, but it's not really programming a transmitter to the radio receiver. It's using an existing remote control to teach a new remote control to mimic the existing remote so that it can commun communicate with the radio receiver. But we won't get off in the weeds about that. And from this point going forward, forever, button number one by the LEDs will control channel one or relay one of the radio receiver. And button number two by the brand name will always control channel two or relay number two on the radio receiver.